this uh, just a quick video uh, I'm Des Gosling this is just a, a quick video to show how this K5 accelerator ring here works and the brake lever uh, which we've installed to this BMW and um, quick talk through of the operation of it there's a button here on the dashboard this is the on off button for the system when it's in the one position it's on uh, this little LED isn't to indicate that the situation it's actually switched on it that's to indicate 50 percent throttle so this has a eco function or um, perhaps economy button which is on this lever just under here so i'll just turn the car on so you can see what's happening so now that that's switched on so the ring will be active so when i pull the ring you get throttle. You can also push the ring to get throttle and you can push that with your thumb. Some people like to rest their hand on it here gently and press the brake with their, press the accelerator with their thumb like that and you can steer with the palm of your hand coming out of a junction and then you can push it through the wheel if you like with your thumb through like that it's another way people use it so there's quite a lot of ways that you can use that whatever's comfortable for you and whatever you get used to but when you're getting used to this a really good feature is the 50 percent button so under this brake lever here i don't know if you can see this there's three buttons here and the front one is for the 50 percent throttle press that there and on the dashboard you see the 50% button is illuminated. So that means you've got 50% throttle. So when we accelerate with this, it'd be a lot easier to handle coming out of a junction or in tight situations or parking or when you're just getting used to it. And then when you get out on the open road, you want a little bit more throttle, you just simply press that button again, it's back to 100% throttle. And um, you know, whenever you need it, just press it, uh, get it on 50, back to zero. So that's how that works. If you want to revert back to normal driving again, if anybody else is driving, just turn it off, zero position, and then we're back onto back onto foot operation. Then so the pedal's active. So that's how that works. Um, there's three more buttons under here. Sorry, two more buttons under here. One of which is the hill hold function. To show you how that works, you press the brake lever down. And then when it's down, press this button in the middle, get the right one, sorry. And oh, let's get it right. Not done that very well. Try again. Failed there. That's because That's we switched off. We're not switched on. So the system's off. <laughs> so let's switch it back on again. And so when you press the brake lever down, that locks it into position and then to, it doesn't auto release that you've got to just press down the light pressure and it just springs back up again not really that important in this country very important on the continent if you've got the gear stick here so you can lock the brake in position change gear put it into reverse or whatever and then off you go so uh, that's roughly how it works there's a manual for how it works, that should come with it. Um, these few tips in there, how it works, just like what I've been through with you now. We usually try and keep that in the glove box, so just pop that over there, put that in the glove box. And, and that's how the K5 works. Hope that helps, thanks.